This one's mainly for me, but uh, we're going to be installing uh, LIRC so I can remap my uh, remote control. I have this um, infrared uh, remote control here, ATI, uh, what is it, ON1, one, Wonder 1 or something like that. Anyways, it has a USB uh, thing here and just a plain, you know, remote with a lot of buttons. Uh, so you have something similar, I guess you can try to follow some of these. Um, not exactly, but you get the idea. So first thing is bust out your synaptic and you're going to install this thing called LIRC. Alright, uh, that's it. Now if you have any problems later on or you want to start over, um, all you got to do is purge this one. So to do that is uh, mark for complete removal and then install it again. And you might have to do a reboot, but that's how I, I, you have to do it. Okay. Uh, after when you're installing that, it should pop up something like this. Let me show you what it looks like. Or if you want to do a reconfigure of it, uh, you can do it this way too. sudo dpkg reconfigure lrc, and uh, basically you have the same menu that they give you the first time. So here's a uh, you know the list of supported uh, configurations for your remote, and they have different brands. Uh, if you like, you can check it out. And they got a lot, okay? Let me show you the whole list. So, let's see here. And I think even uh, the Windows Media Center one, okay? So, whatever yours is, just select that one if it's supported. Uh, mine is an ATI, ATI Remote Wonder 1 here. Uh, I tried a user space, it didn't really work, but uh, this one works, the ATI uh, 1 and 2. So I hit enter, okay. And this one is a transmitter. Um, so I, I don't have a transmitter. I thought was I thought this was uh, where you choose the, tra uh, the, you know, the receiver, but it's not it. Transmitter is mainly for, you know, those direct TV receivers or dish and here, shit here, cable box. I just have a USB thing, so I I, I put none. Okay, so that's all you really got to do there. And then um, the next thing you have to do, let me clear this. Is let's um, restart the LARC. Okay. Now if it says fail or something, um, just do it again. Or you might have to unplug your uh, USB uh, receiver. Now it says OK, so that means you're done with that. Next thing we do is uh, make sure you have their modules loaded. And uh, to do that, what is it? Here you go. LS mod grep, um, whatever the remote that you have. So I have the ATI, right? And there we go. Uh, another thing is to check if your LIRC is running. See how to do that. Is this what is it? P S E F grep L I R C uh with the D the Damon. This is the Damon one. So we know it's running. Uh the next thing is um we're gonna go and um uh, put the keys in for our remote, okay? And to do that, we're gonna bust out our uh, browser. Let's restore this. And um, <clears throat> to get the keys um, or the mapping for it, go to lrc.org, the website, and um, look for it says supported remote controls. Basically, you're just looking for the remote that you have. So, mine, it was a tricky name for mine, but. Uh, it's called the X10. It was kind of same thing in the label, but uh, here you go. It looks something like this. You know, it has the mapping of your key um, for your remotes here. So all I gotta do is copy uh, all of it. Now they have multiple ones uh, on on the file, but you have to choose um, or try it out all out. So that's all you gotta do. Just copy it, and what you gotta do is paste that into. Um, this place. Let's see what is that at. Not there. 
there you go. Uh, sudo g edit uh, etc lirc uh, lirc d for the daemon configuration. So bust that out, hit enter, and you pop this out. Okay. So I'm gonna copy uh, into here. Where was my thing here? So this was mine, and copy that sucker. Paste it in here, and save it. That's all you gotta do. And that's it for that. Now to test if your remote is actually uh, responding to the keys, um, just type in IRW. And now pick up your remote and just you know, press some random buttons and you see it's working there. Um, so that's it for confirming it. And press Control C to get out of that. So next thing we're gonna do is uh, map the keys to you know certain programs. So that's for the next video. But uh, that's how you get the uh, LARC up and running. Uh, for my remote, that's how you would do it. Okay.